Okay. Works. The Top Out crews come clear across country to Wisconsin to check on our amigo Sergio Gomez. Get on, get on the past few years, Sergio's been working hard all around to become an MMA fighter. It's time for Sergio to step up and represent. Here's his shot in Sin City, Las Vegas. Now the dude he's fighting ain't no joke, and Sergio's ready to throw. So you want him in that ring, brother? I said you're a stepping stone, man. That. So we're gonna see who's gonna claim the victory and the future in the WEC. What's up? Bring it on! Yo, Sergio! You know what rental cars are for, right? Yeah, we should hit some curbs and stuff. Huh? The door's closed. Skyscrape and I are back on the road again, and uh, we've flown all the way back out to Kenosha, Wisconsin to check out a new fighter. Okay. Works. Works. Punk ass can't come, so he gets to stay in the shop with the girls. Yapping. Uh, left on Green Bay, wherever Green Bay is. You should have came with this punk ass. We'll end up lost. Punk ass. Punk ass need to be your driver. We'll end up lost. So it's kind of exciting. It's going to be kind of a quick thing, because we don't have much time. What are street signs? You're going to have to eagle eye. I don't see a damn street Bro, where the f the street signs? We're going to go check out a guy who's up and coming, badass Mexican dude. And we know the WC's coming up, so we thought, f let's go check him out and see what this guy is all about. Me. <laughs> My name is Sergio Gomez, and I train out of Dave Strasser's Freestyle Academy. Punch, 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 kick. Yeah. I fight at 155 pounds. I currently have seven pro fights under my belt. I'm six and one professionally. I've been training for six or seven years. I just started out, me and a bunch of guys who wanted to do it, started training ourselves. And then after that, I was like, I got to find a gym because the crap I'm doing is not working. <laughs> so I had to look into that, and that's where I found Dave. I've been training with Dave about three or four years now. I think my strengths most in fighting are Rustling, I love the takedown, but I really like the striking part of it, too. There's nothing more glorious than raising that hand to hit somebody and just getting cheered for it. People in the crowd just loving it. Okay. 77. Did it say anything about passing that? Nope. So I'm driving. We've never been here. I've never been to no, I can't even say Kenosha or Nosha or whatever that good, let alone do I know the city. How many miles did it say to stay on this street? 1.7 miles. What street is this? They ain't got street signs around here or what? I don't see a street sign anywhere. 64. Where's Green Bay? Look, no street sign anywhere. 60th. OK, there's 60. We're looking for Green Bay, not a number. 57. You got Strasser's phone number? Call him. We lost. <laughs> Dave! Strass! <laughs> Bro, I'm lost. I'm on. 49. I'm on, I'm on 75th, and we're going, I don't know. There was a place to eat on our right, and then there was a place on the left. We're on 75th and 47. Alright, you gotta go back. We're on 60th. 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 Where are you on? 75th and 45th. Which way are you going? Uh, we're uh, turning I don't around. Know. Uh, we're going uh, north. Down to 39th. 39th? Oh, now we gotta turn back around. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> so many numbers, Alright, where are you at now? Uh, okay, 70, 73rd. Okay, Third. Then 60, then you're take a right. All right, Trash. All right. Stress! Yes! What happened to Green Bay? <laughs> Fogged up. You know they working in there. Look at, look at my glasses. Instant steam. Instant steam going on. Stress! Stress! 
Good, man. Dave Strasser and I go back to old school fights. We were fighting on reservations, and I remember him fighting at 10, 11 o'clock at night outside. It's like 40 degrees, legitimately. And he was out there fighting and winning, so he's come a long way. Sergio's right there, the bald guy there. He looks really small, but trust me, wait till you see him. He's explosive and stuff. We're just kind of drilling right here. After this, I'm gonna have Nick and Sergio and a couple of the advanced guys go there, and we'll kind of show some of our advanced you know, drilling. Do you think? Mm. Just letting you run it. I'm interested to see Sergio, Hispanic kid, strong, bilingual. I want to get out there, watch him train, get in his environment. All right, guys, let's split up. Beginners back there. We'll stick the advanced people in there. Sergio Gomez is fighting the upcoming WEC in Vegas. Try right, work your way up after you missed one. Don't just sit on the bottom. It's Sergio's first fight in the WEC, so it's kind of like it's, it's a big deal. He's a very exciting fighter, and he's, he's someone I think would do very well in this type of show. You're spinning pretty well, but don't spin all the way back. Remember, if you spin all the way to the back, there's a danger of him rolling to a knee bar or something like that. Sergio is one of my top students. I'm never going to say one of my students are the best. I'm just kind of like a kid, you know. I'm very proud of everybody who trains here. What makes him one of the top students is that he's willing to learn and do all the little things that's necessary. Right, there you go. There you go, sir. Fire off that. I mean, you see the different levels of fighters that they're throwing at him. And I see a little rawness, like some of the jiu-jitsu game might not be where it will be, but he's good wrestling, good hands, good focus, good determination and drive. Let's go, Serge! Get on, there he is. Watching Sergio train and have fun and go hard. He's a tough dude. Anybody that's got heart and dedication and willingness to do whatever they got to do, we're down with them. Work, search. I'm gonna look for a place to do a shoot. And it ain't gonna be in this field of yellow. Ooh, maybe we should shoot in a field of yellow daisies. So it's our second day out here in Kenosha, Wisconsin. And although I gotta meet up with Dave Strasser and Sergio a little later, I'm gonna stop on the side and do a little photo shoot. It was great. We always got new products coming up, and we do photo shoots for them. So figure we're in the middle of Wisconsin somewhere, you know, barns and all that. So Sorry. Mask and I are trying to find the best spot to do a good photo shoot. I kind of like this thing that we got going here. I don't know what it is, a smokestack or whatever in the farm. Work with what we got, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All I can picture is a slow mo of me going. <laughs> like, give me almost Mac mode, but obviously you're with all that stupid <laughs> Car. <laughs> yeah, just car. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at. <laughs> they got me confused with somebody that's nervous or scared. <laughs> Six steps to your right. Don't move, Scrape. That's killer. That's the dude like that. Mac mode it, though. What's a Mac mode? I don't know what that is. I don't know what you're talking about. Let your jacket flow and just like you're looking out. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, nigga. Pick this one. <laughs> just like that. Don't move, Scrape. Oh. I love that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think what I was able to capture was you becoming one with the wilderness. I'm a warehouse supervisor for Midwood Incorporated, and we deal with pallets. A normal day for me, I'll wake up about 5.30, 5.45, being to work by like 6, 10, 6, 15. Okay, pontelos hasta que llegas allá. Works about 3.30 every day. I go home, catch about a 20-minute nap to recharge for my, my training day that's about to start. I get up and I go to the place at my gym for about, I don't know, 45 minutes to an hour. Then I take a 45-minute drive down to Kenosha and I start training at Dave Strasser's. I'm there for about an hour and a half, two hours a night. Boxing, wrestling, jujitsu, getting beat up, getting punched in the face. And then a 45-minute drive back to my gym to do my cardio. And then it's off to home, shower, eat, and go to bed. Wake up and do it all over again. Five days a week. So my social life basically sucks. But I'm after glory. I want to be one of the best fighters out there. Five sprawl jump, go. I don't want that opportunity to pass me up. I don't want to be a 45-year-old and be like, hey, I should have done this, I should have done that. I'm going to take full advantage right now. 
All right, switch holders, switch holders. Where's Nick? Sergio has trained hard. He's excited about his fight. I know he. Did. I know he's at a level now to where this is a big jump for him going to WEC. I just want to get out there and do it, you know. And I don't have to do it, man. Like that's the thing. I, like I got a good job, and I just I just love doing it. You know what I'm saying? Right. I go into work all beat up. My boss just looks at me like, "You all right?" <laughs> and I'm like, "I'm cool, man." <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, I live by myself, you know. So. I don't know, no kids, you know. Yeah, yeah. Nothing to hold me back right now, dude. Right. This ain't gonna stop me, you know what I'm saying? It ain't gonna yeah. stop me, nothing yeah. to stop me. Where are you from? Are you fluent Spanish? Rockford, yeah, yeah. My, actually, my, my mom was born in Texas. My dad was in Mexico, so. Nice. And I got six sisters, man, three brothers, so. You know, so, learn all this about Sergio, I'm excited, you know what I mean? Badass fighter, bilingual Hispanic kid, you can tell he's real proud. Sergio, well, we're gonna have a... A lot behind you at the WC. That's awesome, man. It, it really is. So we're about to exit stage left Seriously. and get the hell out of here. And the next time we see Sergio, it's going to be in Las Vegas for Sergio's first fight in the WEC. Serge, too stressed. Get caught up. Perfect. Every single episode. All in one day. Let me know when you're gonna get them. <laughs> Later today, we're heading out to Vegas to meet with uh, Sergio Gomez and Dave Strasser for Sergio's first fight in the WEC. What do you think about our new top out pins? New ones? Yeah. Before we get out of here, I got some I gotta take care of. Oh, that was nice. Well, we're gonna put top out on. You run out of the old ones? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> It's a little as thing. Ah, terrific. Hey, look at our new tap-out pin. We're gonna get 3,000 of them. Blow them up. I mean, because these are kind of goddess. Damn it. That's real good. Damn it. Dara, come to my office, Dara. We brought Dara on. Uh, a couple months ago, um, we need a PR person to help push the company. Hi, Derek. Hi, man. What's going on? How are you? I'm great. Thank okay. You. Um, since we're going to be in Vegas for four days, and our schedule's so tight, and uh, we got so much <laughs> we're doing that if we don't have somebody handling the schedule, we're going to be lost when we get out there. Um, I set up a radio interview on a show called Extreme Disorder on um, Extreme 107.5 in Las Vegas. Do you know who the DJ is? Um, his name is Dave Farah. Have they done any other MMA guys? Mayhem's gonna be on there right before us. So that's at um, 6 o'clock, so we got a photo shoot that night, too. For Skinny. Mass was kind of pissed that um, we had so much going on and that we had all these obligations for the weekend. Is that a lock-in schedule date for that Skinny magazine photo shoot? Well, not that we couldn't move it up to maybe 10. 10 at night would be good. Dara comes in to tell me and Punk ass what they think is going to be the schedule for Vegas. I'm like, hey, that's cool. I'm glad Dara's working and doing her job, but we have things that we have to get done, too. Next time Dara can ask me, because Punk ass handles his stuff, and he'll have stuff planned, and then I'm doing this over here, and, and we always know where to give each other space, but now you're another element. You don't know kind of how we work. So just ask me, because I didn't know about the radio or about the skinny shoot, so I'm scheduling filling in areas based upon what he had told me before. Okay. I thought I was as nice as I could be, but I don't think she'll run and just start making plans for us to do again. You know what I'm saying? Just text me, Dara. I don't bite. I told you you can call me. OK. OK? All right, got it. Thanks. Time to go. We're out of here. See you later. Have fun. OK, let's roll. We're leaving. Rolling to Vegas. Hey, what's up, Hans? On the way out to Vegas, I got a call from Hans, who's setting up the photo shoot for Skinny yeah. Magazine. Oh, really? I think we got a locked up location for the Skinny Magazine shoot, but it turns out we don't. Yes, but we could get a suite, huh? Uh, um, can I get back to you? Okay, thanks, bro. Late. They want to do the photo shoot at the pool that they just built at the Palms, but it would be on Friday 
sometime before 12. Wow. Now, the other option is I try to call Hard Rock and see if we can't get a shoot inside their suite. Yeah, try that, dude. The early stuff, bro, we're just going to be, you know. OK. Let me see. Hey, um, how'd the Hard Rock thing go? What did they say about their bowling suite? Um, and the reason I'm asking is because we only need it for like an hour, you know? This whole photo shoot thing is becoming a pain in the ass. Sergio and uh, Strass are already in Vegas, oh so I want to get this done and out of the way so we can go meet up with them. Me llamo Sergio Gomez. Okay. Sergio and I are going to the WEC photo shoot. It's actually a really good period for a fighter to kind of get focused, because now it's business, you know what I mean? Get it through your head, man. This kid is going to be a star. You're going to put him on TV. He's going places, man. Cerveza, my cerveza for this boy. <laughs> I'm his translator. <laughs> get it? My name is Strasser's relationship is all <laughs> because I mean, we got to have fun doing it. <laughs> the whitest guy I know. <laughs> You should take off your shirt when you translate. Like, <laughs> if I was a Mexican, would I have a tan like this? <laughs> you have to keep that sense of humor to lighten things up. I think if you take it too serious, man, it's going to eat at you. It's going to take a toll on you mentally. How you doing, man? How's it going, sir? Good. You're fighting him, right? Yes, sir. Good luck, man. What's your name again? I'm Sergio. Sergio. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Oh, hola. Como esta? Yeah, he's there. All right. The first time I saw my opponent, Marcus Hicks, he seemed like a real humble guy, which is really, really cool. My buddies make fun of me. He's like, man, why do you want to take your boy out to dinner? I was like, I just want to meet him, dude. <laughs> and I told him, I was like, hey, no matter what happens on Saturday, dude, hey, have a drink with me afterwards. He's like, well, I don't drink, but uh, we'll meet up for sure. I was like, awesome. Good, like I said, good night. We'll see you guys Saturday, all right, bro? Dave, we got to go, man. Let's go. All right. He only speaks Spanish. I'm his translator. That's what do you okay. need to tell? What do you need to tell? As long as you're there and you translate for him, he's good. Com compadre, mi amigo say, speak of English. Dile gracias que lo veo allá. Oh, oh, no. No? Uh, you know what, y'all? <laughs> you know what? You know what? You had me going there for a minute. <laughs> That's what I like about Dave. He's never too serious, you know what I mean? Half of fighting is 90% mental. During a photo shoot, they just going to me up and just watch me uh, do some light sparring in the air, I guess, and a couple photos and an uh, interview and stuff. Sergio's getting ready for having cameras in front of him, getting bossed around a little bit, different kinds of lighting, flashing lights, you know, spraying down, oil down. So it's kind of like it's, it's a big deal. So hopefully this kind of gets him to mind it. Look, this is a bigger deal than just a little small show as you go. You sign a waiver and you fight. Just a little bit more to it. This is going to be blown up on the big screens. And it's the first thing the audience is going to see. It's the first thing your opponent's going to see. The lights, the cameras, the stars here, the size of the arena, it really means nothing. You know, they flew me out here to fight. All this other stuff is just secondary. Charger. Man, what we should do is just go back to the Hard Rock and try to f scout a location. I'm still trying to figure out this photo shoot situation. It's getting kind of f***ed up. We're kind of to the last hour, bro. I'm trying to figure out where to shoot this thing. I, I understand the cabana's, you know, cool, but we're like, man, it's just not our scene, you know what I mean? The Palms canceled the suite on us, and now we got to find another location. Hey, what about the cage? Why don't these drive us to the ghetto out here? Tell them to go drive and find a ghetto. It won't be hard to find. They're talking about the pool. I'm like, hell no, we ain't shooting there. That don't represent top out. Nothing about that pool okay. represents top out. Uh, let me call you right back. What do you think about doing um, the cage at, at Hard Rock? Yeah, I heard that. What you, the idea that you came up with that yeah. they didn't is an awesome idea. Now I'm kind of feeling disrespected. It's supposed to be for your magazine. So do you If it's for tap out, I make sure it's done. Punk ass straight, make sure it's done. What do you think If about we treated one of our fighters like that, how long would we have the fighter? That's all the question I'm asked. Yeah. Hey, bro, make your own clothes and, you know, you know, blah, 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 blah. You know, that's all I have to say. 
I ain't gonna talk about it anymore unless you want to, because it ain't even on my scale of things that are worth talking about. I got a little attitude. I'm gonna do your job for us, son. But we can talk about my vest, which is dynamite. Bro, get out. <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> Hey. Hello. It's all set up, huh? All set up. We finally got this photo shoot set. We're doing it in body English at the Hard Rock Hotel. I'm just glad this is done. Once I see we're doing the shoot with Skinny, I, I'm talking to myself, calm down. You know what I'm saying? Every day I'm lightning boots be striking all around. Lightning boots. You know, just. Hello. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I was like, hello, and we keep going. Although I still can feel a residue of get attitude in my system. Hey, Scrape, you didn't touch my bandana, did you? Oh, mother <laughs> oh, It's all <laughs> up now. <laughs> Guess what? So we're going to do a couple with just them. So we've got them here so we can impose you in. And then we're going to do a couple with you standing here okay. just in case the imposing thing doesn't work gotcha. or they don't like it or whatever. It's actually a good idea. Yeah. Your opinion matters because I know you do most of the... All of it. Yeah, so. You're creative, I respect your job, but hey, my it's my too. It ain't your show, completely. We work together here on Three, two, one, two, one. Two, one. Three, two, one. One. I see they have a girl and a guy here that are going to try to do their best. And whatever's been up to now ain't their fault. No, I'm cute, man. Come on. So I came out of my own bull attitude and being pissed off and kicked my own self in the ass. <laughs> you know what I mean? And try to make the best out of it for punk ass guys scrape the mask because of who we represent. Hey, all the suits are out. <laughs> Finally hooked up with Strasser and Sergio. Hey. Sir, Stras, Stras, Stras of France. What's up, man? What's up? Dude? I almost couldn't see Stras in that white T-shirt. Put <laughs> <laughs> your shirt off. <laughs> so now it's time to take Sergio and Strasser to the Hard Rock for an official WC weigh-ins and uh, see if Sergio made weight. Uh, who's driving this bad boy? You guys can lay down right here. We can make it a bed. You want to cuddle? Kind of. You're the man, Dave. We got a leg lock drill. We got an arm bar drill like that. You got an arm bar drill like that? Yeah, we got a real good submission that we've been working on, man. Do you want to see part of it? Yeah, you think it. we can do it? Yeah, you can do it right there. All right, yeah. you know, typically in the mount, when you're mounted here like this, like this guy I'd be on him just boom, blasting boom, boom, boom. You see guys just getting punched. Boom. So we came up with a mount choke where you... <laughs> <laughs> boom! <laughs> boom! <laughs> I go, hey, man, that helps out. <laughs> look. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at him. He's, he's back here busted. Look. <laughs> look at him. And now let's get the weigh-in started. Our first bout of the evening. Our lightweight attraction features Marcus Hicks on the scale first. Well, Sergio's fighting this guy who goes by the wrecking ball. And anybody with a, with a name like that, you know, 153, Marcus Hicks, 153. This is the WEC. You don't get here unless you're tough. Here's opponent, Sergio Gomez. Yo, Sergio! So you gotta believe that this guy's gonna bring it, and you're hoping Sergio's on his A game. 154, go, 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 Today at Williams, when I saw Marcus Hicks, uh, I think the tension was there. Give Serge! Go, Sergio! Give Sergio! Yo! There was no smiles, no mugs. We shook hands, I was gonna bring him in, and he just wanted to shake my hand. I'm like, whatever, dude, that's cool. Yeah, he's if he's gotta prepare himself and get mad at me, if that's what he's gotta do, that's cool. I mean, I don't have to be mad to punch someone in the face as hard as I can. It, I don't have to be angry. It's just, that's what I like to do. <laughs>
is gonna be in my corner is uh, Dave Strasser and my brother Fernando. Wait a minute, this thing's not working. My brother Fernando, he's taught me some great things, you know, in my fight game. And it just calms my nerves a little bit, you know. It's good to know that I got family in the corner. I always shit my head for a fight. I like to be clean cut. That way, if it goes into later rounds, the pores can be, you know, more open. I can be sweatier. And when you're sweatier, submissions can't be applied as easily. It's nice and clean, nice and slippery. Just the way I like it. WEC fight is probably the biggest fight of my career so far. But this opportunity, I think it, it gives me a chance to showcase what I've learned over the past few years, what I love to do. I hope it's a good fight. The guy I'm fighting is undefeated. I was undefeated one time too. I know how the pressure is. I know how it felt. And then once you get that loss in your belt, it's kind of like, okay, I felt it. I've tasted it. it sucks. I don't want to taste it again. <laughs> What's up, baby? my shoes on, man. Like, I put my shoes on for you. We'll give you guys ice, buckets, towels, water. We'll give all, we'll give you all that stuff, okay? How's it, man? From what they tell me, this Mark Six guy is, uh, he's 4-0, and 5-0. and In my seven pro fights, I've never went past the first round. I hope this guy is up to the task. I really is. I fought undefeated guys before, and it's kind of like, you get to pop their cherry, you know? <laughs> I don't like to think about his, his game plan or whatever. I got a game plan to implement, and that's what I'm going out there to do. And I hope he's ready, because I know I am. Come on. Dude, they're calling you. Oh, come on. I want to show you something. No, no. Dave, you know what? Why don't you get buy me a hey, Mark, you gotta talk after the show. I guess I gotta talk to uh, Bert, man, to get inside the ring. Get those stickers inside the ring. You OK, to... OK. Hey, hey, check this out. This is how I'm going to give you water. Lay down. I think this is going to work. This is a freak your opponent out. Come on, guys, play along. <laughs> no way. On fight day, I, I do mess around. I know it's a serious thing and stuff like that. I get more nervous than the fighters and stuff like that, and it's a good way of kind of breaking it up. Nervous. I, I have to pace. I almost throw up. I don't feel good. You know, it's because I can't control the situation. Get caught. Oh, that's just here, bro. There you go. The fighters out there. My job was back in the gym, teach them, and now I'm hoping they remember what I taught them. Hey, before I get in the ring, I'm gonna turn to you. I'm gonna hug you, and I want you to tell me strength and honor. Don't forget, Dave. It means a lot to me. Okay. All right. Okay. Make some win. I don't know. I do. I do. I do. Go back there backstage, Sergio. I'm wondering where his mindset is, you know? Go up, talk to him a little bit. I ain't got a whole lot to say. He knows I'm there. We know Tap Out Crew's here. We're supporting him. Time for me to go ahead and just fade into the picture. Little bit here. Good boy. Good man. He's feeling good. He's high energy. He's got a lot of cardio. He's high energy. He comes out there. It's going to be fireworks from the start. Strass was whiter than I've ever seen him. He was Casper the Ghost that day. I was like, Strass, you ain't just gonna blend through and float away in a minute. I can't handle it, man. I just, I, I, I just, beats me up, man. He goes on to tell me when he's fighting, he's ready and he's focused, but when his fighters are fighting, he's sick. OK, man. I just want to come let you know here. Sounds good, man. Mind you. Sounds good. I liked seeing that, actually, you know? I knew he cared, because I saw that. Brother, don't think about none of these bull cameras. Just like back home, man, you're in the ring with another guy. Focus on that, dude. It's you and him in that ring, brother. He's trying to take you out, man. I'm trying to embarrass you. He said you're a stepping stone, man. Get in there, brother. Get caught up. Perfect. Every single episode.
It's the best gym in the nation to catch some sunshine in Chi-Town. He looks like a Boy Scout, but he's tearing fools up. A ruthless wrestler, a star in the making. This is the chance of my lifetime to finally get to show what I can do. Don't let his good looks fool you. This kid's a knockout. Tap out. Wednesday at 10 on Versus. It's crazy. I'm getting adrenaline like I'm about to fight. That's what this sport does. That's what it's about, you know? I get nervous, you know, I start thinking about, you know, all the scenarios that can play out. The way we train at that gym, they could put somebody totally different from the style and I'd be ready. I'd be 100% ready to go. If I got really nothing to lose, I'd just go out there and fight and do what I gotta do. You know, fight my heart out. Strength and honor, brother. Strength and honor. Come on. Strength and honor. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for three rounds of action in the lightweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. He's a go get him Brazilian jiu jitsu and boxing style fighter. This guy's opponent looks tough. He looks like he came to fight. He's all business. Hailing from Dallas, Texas, here is the undefeated Marcus the Wrecking Ball here. The guy that he's fighting is a legitimate crazy cat. Jiu-jitsu skills, good on the ground. Here's the ball across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. It's a freestyle fighter. His professional record, also in his WEC debut. Six victories with just one blemish. Standing five feet, six inches tall, he weighed in officially 154 really pounds. Fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, here is Sergio Gomez. I just want him to get out there and do it. I'm, I'm just wanting the best for him. This is it, guys. You know what you're here for. We all want a good, clean, fair fight. You need to obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Good luck. Hook them up. Go, Sergio! You good? You good? Bring it on!
holds that eye up. Is he gonna fight or is he cupcake? It's a doctor's call. I think he's good. Blooded killer. Bribery, extortion, murder, you name it. It's him. He killed my partner. You need a cold blooded cop. It's gonna be a real picnic working with you. This Friday, it's war. Jet Lee. Jason Statham. War. You and I are gonna finish this. Here they are in theaters Friday. She turned around and left the cave, and I'm standing. They prepare you to fight back. Make it work, guys, make it work. Keep the litter in that eye. Litter that eye, Sergio. Litter his eye. You can't see. Get your right arm out of there. Get him up. Get him up. Wait, wait. Put them hands on him now. Put them hands. No, 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 no. Stay up. begins. Sergio's throwing hands on him, son. These guys are both pushing, but Sergio to me looks like he's the tougher guy. Hey, Sergio. There you go again, again. 
you know, at the end of the first round, he's put so many hands on him. Homeboy looked like, I thought his captain was like, that dude, Pirates of Caribbean. That Captain Hook, he looked like this. Eyes closed. He's out. He's he's the job. Really R, matey. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, I got you in the game. You know, second round thinking, you know, come out, work that eye a little bit. Work that eye, work that eye. Work him out. Sergio, he kept shooting, and every time he'd shoot, homeboy would shoot for that guillotine. Burn! And you know, they hit the ground. Hands go. And see what's coming a little bit. I'm going, is this a bag of tricks? He got caught with the trick. Hat off to the other guy. There's no way Sergio should have lost that fight. There's, I mean, he was winning the whole fight. And and then to get caught, it's just <laughs> disappointing. Hey, that's top level fighting there. That's just top level fighting. You never know, do you? Any problems, headache, nausea, vomiting, anything like that, you take the paper and go to the hospital. Yeah. You look good, though. I mean, everything looks all right. Yeah. Broken heart, sir. Next hand. Yeah. Yeah. You'll get better, and yeah. you'll fight again. Okay. He looks like a Boy Scout, but he's tearing fools up. Tap out Wednesday at 10 on Versus. Good. Another loss. Last six and two. It doesn't sound as good as six and one. He did fine. He did. I'm such a big boxer. I don't even worry about his hands. They're all beating his ass. They're all on our feet. Beating his ass, dude. Uh, his face is all busted up. He's beat up. His eyes all swollen. But I just. He held on. I know. Man, props to him. He held on and he caught me in the guillotine. Proud of you, man. Don't be down on yourself. Live to fight another day, man. Yeah. Nothing's broke. We'll walk away from this one. I didn't really want to tab, but I, I, I started flashing in and out of blackness. My head was just pounding. I was like, oh, I almost blacked out there, you know? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't want to tap out, but when it's a situation like that, you got to. I felt like I didn't know anything I was doing. I felt like yeah, I was doing I'm down. Hey, hey, experience is the best uh, teacher. Remember that. You know, I almost take personal responsibility for Sergio's loss. And any time I see my fighter lose, I take it as a personal responsibility that, hey, I messed up or didn't teach him the proper thing. I was hitting hard and he was hitting me. Yeah. He hit, he does, I was like, what, are, what, are, what is that? What is that? Well then, now this is a this is a key point. This is a key point in your career and stuff like that. Either you get better, or you're not gonna get better. You know, and that's your choice you make. You can do it. I can't do anything. It's your choice. All right. He's going to train two years. He will improve. You know, I feel confident about it. When somebody's lost and you're down in the dumps, ugh, it's kind of it's kind of a different thing. You know, you don't want to say the wrong thing. You don't want to take it like it's. A heavy thing and you lost and you don't want to make it like it's too light of a thing. I'm proud of you, man. You know what I'm saying? That's all I got to say. I'm proud of you. Battling, patting, eyes shut. You know what I'm saying? He's got your little trick. It happens or none. So I kind of just want to go in there and show him support and some unconditional love. Seriously. Meaning win or lose, I'm here, dog. Well bad, man. You guys are there, your crowd is there to nah. root for me. Nah, bro. And one time when I was a little kid, like three, I was walking, and I fell. I said, it, I got back up. <laughs> you know what I mean? I got back up, dude. I'm gonna let you do your thing, man. Just go back to the gym, pick myself up, dust myself off, and train harder. We're stats of fast stress. Oh, stress. All right, dog. I'm gonna let you do your thing, man. Ugh, chin up. Chin up. Right back in it, man. We're right back in it, dog. Right back in it. Hi. Right? Yeah.